Hey there. I'm Mike Morrow Jr. and right now I'm gonna give my real thoughts on what's of Looney Tunes of everybody shorts. I feel like my real thoughts on the various cartoons that featured the, the the debuts of all the all the main characters. Hmm. Yeah. This is the one time about the very early one, one of our shorts, talking about the first appearance of Bosco, a character that you probably haven't heard of. <laughs> probably time about the first appearance of a lot of the, the more familiar ones, a lot of the most iconic ones. Sorry with Porky Pig, he first appeared in I Haven't Got a Hat. Hmm. You know, the uh, Color Mary Memories was featured a bunch of new characters. The World War Staff was looking for, for one to be, be the new Lincoln star. And Porky Pig appeared in, in one scene where he recites the Minotaur Poor with, with, with Veer. He sells his way through it. And there was a lot of other characters who wouldn't last too long. Like there's one character called Beans the Cat who who has a big part in the show. Where it was he, it was he had a few with his classmate uh, Oliver Owl. A lot of people expected Beans to be the popular one, and he'd be the star for a short while before Porky Pig would become the star, and they drop out Beans. It's all over the scenes, like I see with these two pups named, see, I think they're Mr. Ham and X, so they, they sing the, the title song, I Haven't Got a Hat. There's this character, a, a little kitty, who, who gets nervous while we're telling the story of, of the poem, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Eh, now we're going to talk about the, the first uh, Daffy Duck cartoon. Called Porky's Duck Hunt. It was Porky Pig goes hunting and he gets, sees Daffy who acts real crazy. His first appearance was not officially named yet. He's, he's kind of an interesting cartoon. Yeah. One of my favorite scenes is one where, where, where a barrel of alcohol gets sawed and Daffy gets in the walls and fists can get drunk and start singing. There's one gag where, where Por that happens a couple of times was Porky suits, suits, Porky's gun goes off in the house and he actually shoots his neighbor from upstairs. <laughs> Yeah, Porky's Duck Hunt is a, is a good one. Of course, Happy Duck would have gone to do a lot of better ones. But this one was a good start. Then there's Elmer Fudd's first cartoon, Elmer's Candid Camera. Of course, Elmer Fudd of a character called Egghead. And the history of the evolution from Egghead to Elmer is kind of complicated. There's a lot, like in some sorts, Egghead would have uh, black hair, or in one of those he'd be completely bald. And there's sources that say that. That the bald one is actually Egghead's brother, if you think Egghead's his cousin. Until the very first Egghead cartoon, he'd be. He was the, the bald one, it's like the tiger called the Egghead, and from some of Egghead in dialogue. See, but, but the bald one would eventually be, be called Elmer Fudd. Like, like the only cartoon with the name which I put on the screen is, is if, it, if you there was. But first of all, the more familiar Elmer Fudd design and voice would appear in you know, Can of Camera when several tries to take pictures of wildlife, including an early rabbit who would evolve into Bugs Bunny, but especially not. And say this one's so so. Yeah, maybe not, maybe not really that good, but it's interesting for interesting sake. Then this is the very first Bugs Bunny cartoon, the first official one, because there would be a few rabbits that would evolve into Bugs Bunny. I plan to do a video with my real thoughts on some, some of those early videos later. But, but a, a wild hare. He has Elfra hunting Bugs Bunny for the first time. Actually, Elfra is hunting rabbits for the first time. Bugs Bunny follows him. Like, on one hand, it kind of feels like, like a typical hunting cartoon. And hmm, I'm not really sure how I'd feel about it if they did, didn't continue with Bugs Bunny, but I do kind of like it. Hmm. Maybe it's because it's the first appearance, though. Quite a few of these first appearance cartoons, I don't think they are that great, but, but there's something about it I really like. <laughs> I do like some of the gags, like when Bugs doing the Guess Who thing with Elmer, I mean, the over dramatic thing at the end. <laughs> yeah, that, that kind of was known for an Oscar, and I really can't decide if I deserved it or not. Hmm. Then, hmm. Okay, next few characters can remember off have them getting the order right. Hmm. I don't know what the heck of that. So, so this Trini's debut in, in Terror 2 Kitties was as to. to Cats based on Aaron Costello, who was trying to catch the treaty. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Aaron Costello. I kind of like this cartoon before, before I started getting into Aaron Costello. This is a great cartoon. I think the cats are a lot better than, than treaty is. Yeah, but, 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 but the, the three treaty cartoons that I don't have is so best one of them. That was my, my favorite of them. Like, maybe it's a little blank for a lot of later cartoons, but, but it's the best of those solo tree ones. And there's a, a, a Life with Feathers, the first appearance of Sylvester. It was a suicidal bird that wants wants Sylvester to eat him, but Sylvester thinks he might be poison. It's been a long time since I saw that one, but I think that one's really really great though. 
Hmm. And there's your, 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 your Sonic Sandbox was a parent and, and hair trigger. Your Sonic Sandbox was a train, but, but Bugs tries to stop him. This is a really it's a solid cartoon. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the, the strength of the new character, Sonic Sam, and why why he's a worthy opponent to Bugs. He's also one of Bugs Bunny's first enemies who is not, not just a dopey a predator or a hunter after Bugs. Like he's one who has a threat to Tabor or Sam. So Bugs is a hero. Yeah, Hair Trigger is one, one of the best Bugs to Sonic Sam cartoons. Yeah, there's the first Fargo Legend cartoon, Walkie Talkie Hockey, which you Henry Hawk. He was chicken hunting and he fire alert to throw him off, claiming that they the born your dogs a chicken. And yeah. I think this one's kinda of so so. Like 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 yeah, there were quite a few cartoons with the same formula of Henry Hawk going chicken hunting and if I were trying to think the dogs the chicken or something else's. Hmm. Yeah. I think they think the other ones are a lot better than this one. It does have some good good gags, like like the final one was Foghorn and the dog worked together to fight with this uh, horse who threw him out of his barn, and then you know, he captures all three of them. He's like, he drags them all. And he's like, one of these, I say, one of these has got to be a chicken. It's kind of good, but whenever it's a lot, it's not really that great. There's a lot of better Foghorn Legend ones who are with and without Henry Hart. It is the first Pearl of Pew cartoon to the Order of Broke Kitten. The first few Pepper Pew cartoons were a lot different from how they would be known, and Pepper Pew is probably one of my least favorite of the the, of the main uh, Looney Tunes characters. This one has a male cat who probably describes himself as a as a as a skunk, and Pepper Pew chases after it. Uh, he doesn't realize that that's male. There's some differences with the later cartoons, though. The Looney Tunes cartoons don't really follow continuity, but but it ends with a, with the revelation that Pepper Pew has a wife and kids. His name's actually Henry. The the Pepper Pew was actually named to a few cartoons in. He told us that his first answer was was, was fake. Hmm. Yeah, Pepper Pew is not one of my favorite characters. There's only a few Pepper Pew cartoons that I, that I really like, and that one's not one of them. Hmm. And then there's the 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 first appearance of the Roadrunner Wiley Coyote in Fast and Furious. Yeah, that is one of my favorites of the first of the first appearance of the shorts. It is one of the best Roadrunner cartoons like. It, with most of the Chuck Jones era ones, it can be kind of ridiculous saying that some are better than others because both of them have the same basic plot but different gags and stuff. But this first one has a lot of really solid gags, like has that thing at the end where he's where White Car uses species. I just now realize that the species is not really the ending one, but it comes right before it and it's, it should have been the last one. It has the classic uh, tunnel painting gag. It's one of, one of the best. It has the Superman suit gang. I think it was that, that snow machine thing. Yeah. These are one of my favorites of the first appearance ones. Yeah. And then there's the first appearance of, of Speaking of Zola's and Cat Tales for Two. But Speaking of Zola's looks different. And he's being chased by, by mice based on George and, and Eleni from, uh, from uh, Mice and Men. Yeah. This is really a good one. I really like the one gag where, where George falls in and the other cat who's called Benny tells him, George, what's the matter with you? Can't you read? He puts no no swimming science says, it says no fishing. That's how he's falling in the water, so he was swimming by accident. <laughs> yeah, that one is probably better than some of the other first person ones also, though of course being in Solace would have gone to do a lot of better cartoons. Those are my real thoughts on a lot of the first appearances of Looney Tunes characters.